Hello everyone and welcome back to Stay Tonight. In the last video I talked about how you can use React Router Dome to you know sort of have params in the URL and handle them in the components that we create. So I've already recorded a couple of videos talking about React Router Dome but that proves that how important a topic React Router Dome is. Yes, I talked about basic introduction to React Router Dome, then we created a portfolio application, then in the last video I talked about how you can use parameters and you can do so much especially in the case of an e-commerce application where you have categories, filters and so many other things where you would want to use parameters in your React application, right? Now in this particular video I wanted to show you guys a different style of doing the same thing. Yes, with the latest version of React Router Dome, which is I think 6.16 or 6.14. So there are a lot of new features that have been introduced and uh, object based routing mechanism can be created and which is a very nice way. So up until now, as you can see over here on the screen, we have been using this browser router component and inside this we used to have routes and route to specify all the route. Now this is fine and this works well. But in the latest version of React Router Dome, it is specified that it's better to use a separate router. We create a separate router.js in which we can define the routing mechanism. Now, for defining the routing mechanism, we can define, we can use this old style or we can use the new object style, which is a nice style if you are familiar with JS code because this is JSX style. You are writing uh, routing in form of JSX tree structure which is fine if you like JSX if you don't if you are more comfortable with JS I would prefer this object style so we will cover how we can do this then separately we will define all the routing and inside of this main app.js we will have a router provider just like you know app context provider if you know anything about context in react.js although I have not covered that up until now I will probably cover it in the next video but yes you can have a separate router.js file where you define your routing and in the app.js you just provide the complete routing. In this you know we can also have a mechanism of setting a root component where all the common things can be defined like we are defining it over here the complete navigation and uh, yeah so this can go into root so overall this will provide a better structure to the application uh, there will be a separate root component it will have children components like home and product and routing will be defined separately in object oriented style and we will import the routing using the router provider. So let's see how we can do that. There are a lot of changes and I will be working on the top of the application that I created in the last video. So if you have not seen the last video, please go and check out the last video. So let's start with the code changes. So just to give you a brief of the code. So we had this app.js inside which I have the browser router where I've defined a simple navigation bar and some routes. Uh, one route is the home which is on the slash uh, root route. And then I have products in which I have category and filter parameters and the products component looks like this. Okay. So this was the UI that we created. This is the basic home page with slash root URL. And then if I go to computer, I get to products computer. This is the category selected, gadgets, t-shirts, desk. And I can also select, you know, basic filtering if I want to add and it gets added to the route. You can obviously utilize all these things to get data from your database based on what category the user is selecting and what filter is selected, right? So that's what we did in the last video. In today's video, we want to change the whole routing setup to a more structured better architecture and a more decoupled way so the first thing that i will be doing is i'll be introducing you to a couple of things so like i have used the browser router over here so i will use functions to create these browser router instead of this jsx style and that is something that react router dome now recommends so let's quickly create a separate file which we will name as the router.js in which we will define our complete routing setup right so what I'll do is I will quickly import. So this is the function create browser router. As you can see, I'm getting a suggestion. I've imported it. Let's create a router quickly. And how will I create? I'll use this function. That's it. And we are done. Not obviously we're not done. We have to define the routes over here, but let's just quickly export this. You can either do this or you can also, you know, simply write over here, export default router, whatever you like, doesn't matter. So in this we will define all the routes and it will be an array of objects right inside which we will have a basic routing setup so you can also have another there's another method which says create routes using elements 
I think that's what it is called. So you can also use that inside of this create browser router and then you can use this GSX tree style uh, just like you know we are using uh, over here. This routes will go away obviously but this route can directly be defined over there. So that's also there you can just go through the uh, react router dome documentation to understand that. In this video I just want to talk about the object style right. So what we want to do is we want to define these two routes and like I said we also want to create a root component which is, which will keep all this uh, you know common part. So this is the common part uh, where we have a navigation bar and we have these links right. So this section is the common part in our case. Uh, if I have to show you this part is common and this changes based on the route. So this common part we want to move to a root component separate component that we want to create and this section will obviously be changed as per you know if you are accessing this slash URL you get home if you are accessing products you get product. That's what we want to create and that's how you know react router dome also recommends you to go about to you know implementing this. So what I will be doing is now there will be a lot of changes so please focus what I want over here is like you can see I'm already getting suggestions for properties path would be slash and let's say that the element is root now I don't have a root element but I'll create along with this root element so this root element is the main container element in which you know I will have all the things like I said if I have to describe it over here so this entire will be my root and this part will change based on the routes and this will stay common that I will define in my root component okay. So another cool feature that react router dome is providing is the ability to define children so I can define children elements children routes to the main route this slash defines my root element and ins inside this you know I have children which have you know uh, paths that starts from this slash but are different so those are called as children you can also do the same thing using route JSX component as well but like I said we are focusing on the object style so again here I will provide an array of objects I will provide path and to the path now there is one problem over here like the root has to be slash path and in the slash path only I want to pro use my element home as well right so how do you think we can do that wow this will cause an error but let's see if we can solve this problem I want to provide another child path which is the path for my products and what's that let's just quickly go over here copy this bring this over here okay and the element would be products and yep that's it let's quickly bring the import statement as well so we don't need them over here now I will just remove this entirely remove this browser router also because we don't need it over here let's just keep the link part and uh, in the router.js let me import so this is the router that we have created we are using create browser router function inside which we have an array of objects in this I have one primary object which is the root element uh, defined by the slash the root path and that has children which has you know uh, other which are associated with other path but as you can see in this home we have the same path now how will you deal with this so there is another property that is introduced which is index so you can mention index true so this page now will be treated as the index page and it will be opened on the same path so that's also a very good thing right and uh, I think our router mechanism is all set now let's move on to the second thing that we want to do is so let me just you know first quickly create a root page root component sorry so root root.js in this path only I will provide I will create a new root.js component in pages new file root.js and in this root.js I will keep the entire code that is available over here which I want to keep as the common UI part. So let's quickly create a component. I don't know why in my case the indentation is not using tab I've tried a couple of times but that's fine. So this is the common part that we want okay this and inside this we want all the uh, new components to be rendered as the path changes. So our root is set, router is set, in the router we have given all the paths 
even the children ones slash and this you can have as many number of children you can even go beyond this if there is certain children elements or children components in the product you can create there as well so you can do whatever you want to do right i think this is better way because this is more decoupled in architecture ways this is better you have a separate routing file you just import the routing in your main application you have a separate root and separate other pages so i think this is a better approach overall so in the app.js now i don't have anything as you can see it's much cleaner right because we don't have anything so here i'll import this router provider what am i writing router provider yes and i will be using this router provider over here router provider this is a new component using which we can you know set up the routing so i'll just say router and i will provide the router that we have defined in the router.js so i will have to import it let's quickly import the router from router and we're all set link is not defined where okay in the root i think i didn't import link let's quickly do that link from react router dom yep and we're good to go so in the router up until now what we have done is we have defined a separate router.js where we have used the create browser router method to define the browser router and inside this we have used the object style of creating the paths and the routes that we want we have also defined children paths to the root element root component that we have created which is a component which will stay fixed and inside that based on the path things will change right now you must be wondering how things will change because in the earlier style wherever we used to provide that routes that was the section which used to get changed whenever the path was changed and the part that was above used to stay fixed now in this case how will react know that where do i inject the you know components which are uh, rendered when the path gets changed so that's one question and we will come back to that first let's see if things are working fine or not obviously you know we'll be getting an error but i think most of the code changes we are done with so let's see how our app is behaving okay so our app is running fine but i don't see the home section over here and when i'm clicking on these links i'm not seeing anything over here and that's what i was talking about so i think we're done with everything and that's the only part we are left with so let's just talk about that so what we have done up until now is we have our app in which we have defined routing using a router and the router is defined in the router.js separately in object style which is a nice style if you are good with js and i think the basic syntax of the code remains same because in js uh, you should use this object style rather than you know mixing the jsx tree style in between so this is a good way right so that's how we define the router in the app in the router we have defined that okay there is a root element which defines the constant part in our case the navigation bar is defined using the root but when the root changes where does react put in the components like home and products so for that react router dom has introduced a new component which is the outlet component and wherever you put this outlet component in the root the react router dom will render the component wherever you know whichever it has to based on the path so if i put outlet in my root component wherever i'll put it their home and products will get rendered so let's see how that works so in the root.js in this div i want this section is my navigation bar below this i want the uh, you know the components to get rendered based on the path so i'll import this outlet from react router dom and i'll just have to put it over here and you will see like i said you know the code is more readable more clean you just have to put in this outlet and this specifically defines that okay wherever you put uh, you know every renders the child routes element if there is one so uh, whatever child you have it will be rendered over here and i think now our application would be working fine just like it used to when we created this first time in the last video so if you want to understand the difference please go ahead first watch the last video that i created and then come to this video so well so that you understand that you know what are the changes in the latest version of react router dom that are done and how you can you know use those changes in your existing application as well or you know how they are different from the previous syntax so now if i click on home this is working fine if i go to computer products is getting loaded category is working fine if i use filtering that's also working fine perfectly so to quickly revise and go through what we have done 
is that you know we created this router.js where we defined the entire routing which was superb because now the routing mechanism the entire definition of all the routes that are supported in our application are at a separate place in the app.js we don't have anything we just have a router provider so it looks much cleaner we have a root component which is sort of you know the container component in which the entire application will load we have a static fixed navigation bar and then we have outlet to sort of you know render runtime uh, components based on the routes as the route changes right so i think this is very a uh, nice way like i mentioned a couple of times you can use this style in a lot of other websites as well so you can have this empty root as well you can have a root component as an empty uh, you you don't define anything inside this root and you can have a separate navigation bar that you import inside of it if you want to for example create a simple uh, website where you have a navigation bar for example a portfolio and you want to based on whatever you know urls are clicked you want to change over here things or whatever you want to load over here so you can have a fixed navigation bar and then you can have this outlet over here then also it will work right in this route you don't have anything just a blank canvas you import this navigation bar using this and here you use the outlet uh, component to sort of uh, render the child components at runtime based on the route changes so there is so much things that you can do so all you have to remember is this new style uh, requires a router provider defining a router separately you can use this object style or let me just you know show you the second style also if you go to this yeah so you can also use the basic route style as well if you want if you are familiar with this you can use inside this create browser router you can use another function create routes from elements and you can use this route this route also here also you can provide children like you know this is the root element that is provided and inside this further you know children routes are provided and you can do so much more there are so many new features that are introduced in this react router dome the new versions loaders handling parameters etc but i don't want to cover too much of it in the react series i will create a separate series for react router dome where i'll cover everything in detail about react router dome this is where we end talking about react router dome and from the next video i will talk about you know context uh, handling then you know other hooks how you can create custom hooks and how you can create high order component etc so we'll move on to those features of react js thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel please do that and also press the bell icon i have been creating so many videos there are hindi videos english videos so if you like if you don't like anything please post comments tell me what i should do what i should not do i'm here to create content for you guys i'm here to help you guys learn more and new things right so if you partner with me in this journey i will be able to create better content for you guys right so please share your reviews in the comment section if you are following this react series please stay tuned more videos are coming up more interesting and cool videos are coming up so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video